what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to be talking about julian morrissey today julian the young kid from halloween 2018 who i know had many of us laughing myself included his portrayal the actor who plays julian his portrayal of julian is honestly one of the most realistic uh portrayals of a child in today's modern era that we could find in halloween 2018 he's cracking jokes he has some very uh colorful language at times and he has a babysitter that he is having a seemingly very casual friendly relationship with and they both seem very fond of each other she ends up telling him vicky that being ends up telling julian that he is the her favorite child to babysit for so there's a nice little fun dynamic between babysitter and the child she's babysitting so i like their relationship and julian like i said before some might have find him to be off-putting at times i can kind of see where you're coming from and there were times where i'm like well maybe this isn't very fitting here but his portrayal of being a kid during all this is very realistic honestly given what's going on and the age demographic he seems to be in so what i want to talk about since we know that this character will be returning in halloween kills should this character be killed off now if i'm not mistaken i believe this has been touched on if it's not i'm still just going to theorize about it julian has been confirmed to be back in halloween kills but i'm also under the assumption we'll be meeting julian's family members this time around We'll be meeting either his mother, maybe his grandmother, maybe his sister, even just other people in Julian's life. And while I was first on the side of having those people be the ones that potentially die, I'm now leaning more towards would they take it that far and have Julian get killed? And what I mean by that is when considering what happened in Halloween 2018, there were a couple of instances that are important. There's a there's a crying infant. Uh at one point in a crib during halloween 2018 michael does not touch this person no harm takes a look at it but walks out the door thankfully because <laughs> i know a lot of people were on the edge there at that moment in my theater and then we have sometime before that when he's escaping there is like a a kid who looks like he's about to be maybe 12 13 years old michael still kills this kid though this this is the kid that ended up going onto the bus and shot dr sartanga out of fear and he ran back to his father's car and or truck and Michael kills him. So with Julian being presumably much younger than this person, by, but not by many years, but by a couple of years, would they take it that far to have Michael Myers kill a child in this film? That doesn't mean that they would need to show Julian getting killed or anything like that. But just us learning that Julian died by Michael Myers hand at some point during Halloween Kills. I think that would put audiences very much more on the edge. It would keep you engaged in this because now you're understanding that Michael Myers, he has no bounds. He knows no limits. While we have seen these limits, we don't know when by killing julian i think that would indicate to the audience you don't know when he's willing to break these limitations because a lot of people would argue that michael myers doesn't kill children maybe children he's not related to depending on what timeline you're following sure but depending on the age of said child would he kill this person so like with in julian's case julian is not a newborn julian is not a screaming helpless uh fundamentally fundamentally ignorant child he's he's not he has knowledge of what's going on he is someone who is well aware of what's around him even though he has a babysitter and he seemed like he would put up a little bit of a fight against michael myers if forced to so if we were in a scenario like that i feel like michael myers killing julian while again it would need to be shown on screen that would be something that would add leverage and back up these claims that keep coming out about Halloween Kills being the, one of the most brutal, one of the most intense sequels to date or one of the most brutal, intense Halloween films to date. I think that killing Julian's character, a character who is so likable in the last film, killing him off in Halloween Kills would just take audiences by surprise, I believe. Not if you're looking at this video, of course, maybe it still would, but... I just think that that character in and of himself, he was such a likable little little kid to have around and kind of breaking this uh, tension that you have while watching this movie at times. It's not Halloween 2018. It's not a movie that's overly serious at times. It's just that when Julian is on screen, you are 
you're willing to let your guard down with this with this character because of the way he's being portrayed because of the things that are coming out of his mouth and the way he's interacting with Vicky it's just all very light lighthearted and like it doesn't overstay its welcome either in my opinion there are some instances where I'm like maybe I could have done without this but overall Julian's contributions to Halloween 2018 are not things that hinder the film in any way so with him coming back in Halloween Kills having him get killed off that would be something that would let audiences know you know what Michael Myers is again a force to be reckoned with his limitations that we once thought he had with children might be limitations that he may or may not feel he will break at certain times depending on what's going on between Michael Myers and said child if you still want to believe that Michael Myers will not hurt any children again depending on what timeline you follow because if it's a relative he's going to kill them for sure but depending on what timeline you follow and if you want to believe in your heart that Michael Myers will not kill children because of what happened in Halloween 2018 then by having Julian get killed who was also a child you'd have to then reconsider maybe there's some limitations that Michael Myers is willing to break at certain points depending on what is going on at the time between him and said young victim julian in this case let's presume he is going to be putting up some type of fight against michael not only that maybe julian gets in the way at times while michael is trying to potentially slaughter the rest of his family and julian will end up biting the dust because of his intent to save his family now what i also want to talk about with the whole julian dying thing personally the character i like the character again what i want to see him die not really but then again having him die would kind of add to what they have been again clamoring about and just saying that this is the most intense most brutal michael myers film something of that effect and it would also just be like a big shocker that he killed a child that's just how i see that that's just what i personally think about that and I don't think Julian's death is something that many of you would want to see. But if you're hearing what I'm saying and hearing where I'm coming from, his death could add that extra level of importance to how serious this nature is because no one is safe anymore. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notification at Nimbus video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there. Of course, let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.